Hi guys, Improvement from Overclocking TV. We're uh, here at Gigabyte in uh, the Taipei 101 at the Gigabyte booth uh, during Computex. I'm here right now with uh, iCookie and we will ask him a few questions about that special hardware that is the GC Powerball, right? Yeah, yeah. This uh, uh, Gigabyte's new uh, GC Powerball. Yeah. Now, what are you using that for? Uh, we know that it's when you modify the, the VGA, but uh, what are all the usage you can do with that board? Yeah, actually, we designed this board it's from the uh, Gigabyte Power Team Engineer. And uh, this power solution is um, the most stronger uh, power board solution. It can deliver like uh, uh, 14 amps. It's around near to 3,000 watts. So we based on this power design, and you, you can modify on any device who need the powers. It's like a video car uh, or even a, a mini RTX board. They, they, if they need a, a extra power, then you can uh, solder this board to give it the power uh, to the device. So actually that's just like a, a power delivery system that you can select the right uh, voltage you want or the yes. right output you want on that. Uh, yes. How do you control that board? Uh, we actually, uh, this is a G power board. And we have another G Powerball controller, and uh, we we and we can control the voltage and any uh, uh, settings, and also the uh, like a current monitoring through the uh, G Powerball can, can controller. Yeah, and also the G Powerball controller can connect to the PC or like your benching PC or the laptop. You can through the software to can control the the, the, the voltage. That, that's that's cool. Uh, did you is that the the something that only the extreme overclockers uh, inside Gigabyte will use, or if any overclockers want that, they can buy it somewhere or request that from you? Uh, if for for first stage, we just uh, gotta we just produce some samples, we just uh, sit in to the uh, the worldwide overclockers uh, to them to start try because uh, this, because this powerball is uh, the first uh, powerball solution. They can, uh, they can both support the NVIDIA 780 Ti and also the AMD R9290X. This one is the first one. So we gotta, we gotta keep trying uh, to, uh, to, uh, to send in the samples to Overclock and uh, when they get a, a feedback and then we say this product is a very material, we can go to the production. Uh, probably we're, they're gonna go to production. Yeah, I see. So basically, right now you're like in the in the testing phase, like a worldwide testing phase yeah. and real testing phase. Yeah. Um, uh, is there any special features on that that overclockers might like to to have? Because you know you have to solder that on the board, you have to modify yeah. the board. Every time you modify something like this, you break the warranty, break everything. But you know that's only for extreme yeah. overclockers yeah. like like you and the guys. Uh, have you been using that board in the uh, in the OC lab for quite uh, quite some week or quite some month now? Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, yeah, we. We just try to uh, modify. We tried it before, uh, both uh, a 780 Ti and uh, a 290X. So actually, we got uh, we, we modify on the 780 Ti, and uh, it can push the clock to uh, 1800 or near the 1900. So it's, it, it was very stable. And then we we also figure out uh, when it uh, uh, for the air cooling because uh, it got a more extra power than a different car. So it can it can even st uh, get an extra free frequency from the uh, uh, from the air cooling or mm -hmm. stuck fan, yeah. That's sweet. I saw you have uh, some some connection right uh, right here and there, and that's uh, for for feedback or for monitoring things. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, this board is also support the uh, uh, local sense and the remote sense. So uh, like uh, here, you can connect to uh, 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 record voltage to get uh, uh, a remote sense. Then you won't have uh, any vtubing problem. They can fix the vtubing, and uh, this power board is very is is a very unique because they got a um, total uh, 24 phase, and a total for uh, 24 phase is a uh, 16 for the uh, like uh, for the VGA, and then we have a uh, we have uh, another four phase for the VDDCI, also for the V memory, yeah. So that that solves some of the issue that uh, some some product like this in the past you had to solder like three different products to the same hardware to have these three kind yeah, of, uh, yeah. of settings. So now, one. now you have you, yeah. you made everything in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's that's your little baby, right? Yeah. You 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 did a uh, lot of work on that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, iCookie. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Give that uh, give the thumbs up to that video or follow us on Twitter and so on. And don't forget.
keep pushing it. 